Hey everybody, I'm you heard 37 here. So there's a game came out about I think it was like eight days ago. I think it came out on the 10th called City Skylines, and I I picked it up. I've been playing a little bit, just trying it out, and I really do like it. I wanted to see if we could make some videos on it. Uh, it's a lot like you know SimCity, uh, Cities XL stuff like that. I love that kind of game, you know, where you gotta take something and just Build it, build upon it. You know, like Air Hauler starting off with a small company making it bigger. I love, I love that kind of game. Uh, it's just like SimCity from back in the early '90s, stuff like that. Cities XL, just like that. So we have some maps to choose from. Uh, one of the big things to take uh, from it, uh, you've got your natural resources over here, amount of water, uh, suitable area for building, stuff like that. And looking at it, I think. Blackwoods is the one I want to go with. Uh, it's all right with natural resources, uh, about not quite half water maybe, but suitable area building 70%. So I figure we should go with that. We got left hand traffic? Yeah. And we're going to name it for no reason <laughs> Woohooville. I have no idea why I will just go with that. All right, so here's our city. Now, one thing about this you can see we can only build in this square right here as we get bigger uh, other squares will become available we can buy those and then expand into it but this is what we got from now you can see there's actually a train line uh, in through here we got some major roads over there but uh, we have to build here for the time being all right so let's let's get to building some roads one thing I don't like is after you build a little bit of a road, they actually give you the better one, which I wish I could have now. So you, after you do that once, then the bigger one comes available. I don't know why. Not just give it to me right right away. I don't I don't get it. All right, so we're gonna come this way. Uh, this is our main road, so I thought you know it should you know it's gonna have the most traffic on it eventually. Although right now traffic. Obviously not going to become a problem for a while, but it seems like, you know, your main roads, for the least of the time being, should be the biggest, so I go with that. Now, there's one kind of thing I've been struggling with. Actually, try to make, like, a road right here in the middle, like, out to here, and then have them uh, intersect into one to bring it down, but you can't do it. It just doesn't work. Uh, I also experimented. Uh, I was having roads down here. I, I should probably show you that in a little bit, but having bridges and it, that doesn't work either. <laughs> so, can I go with this? Uh, trying to think. I know I want it to come out a little bit more, but also to get up to the left. Uh, trying to think exactly how we should go about that. Uh, we do want to put our industrial here. What I want eventually is like out on the uh, coast, like a big commercial area with big skyscrapers, residential maybe over here or something. So a lot of this stuff that we're going to get get started with, I'm just going to trash eventually, to be quite honest. Uh, but, you know, you got to get going. So let's see. I can actually put that a little bit further over. I don't know if I like that. Uh, it's got one tile on the side. I don't... Hmm. Think about that. Why not just put it a little bit more over? Kind of like that. Make that one do the same. Bring that one over one more. Alright. I'll then kind of come up... There's a little bit of a gap in the middle. I think that's just fine for the time being. Like I say, I don't know exactly how we're going to do this. Uh, I know one thing. For the first part, our city's going to be kind of boring. It's going to be kind of square, you know, rectangle, not a lot of shape and stuff. But that's just to get us going. That's the way I do it to get it going. Eventually, you know, we're going to have all kinds of... It's. I want it to be end up being a very, very cool city. And not just some rectangle or whatever but for the time being you know it's yeah it's kind of crappy but you got to get it going 
One more over. Too far. How is that? There's always... Can't get it lined up. There we go. I don't know why that was so difficult. See, because I don't know how to get those to connect so well. If you connect them just like this, then you're going to have a little traffic jam area, it seems like. So, I know I'll put that there. And now we're going to go uh, to smaller roads. Don't need the huge roads for everywhere for the time being. All right. So we got to kind of rebuild this stuff. Now, I kind of want to leave it a tile in between because when we go to tear this stuff up, uh, these bigger roads take one more tile on each side. So I kind of leave it a tile. So if we do come back through and bust this up, we'll have space. So it won't screw everything up. All right. I'm almost kind of confused now because I totally did this different than I've been doing it. We've got to get up here and get our uh, residential going before we spend too much money. So we'll tell in between there. Like, see, I was making bridges every other one and stuff so to go over the roads. But uh, if you do that, like I was doing it, uh, the services, it's really screwed up the services because I guess the people are too stupid like the police and the fire and everything, of how to get to places. So it was really, it was it ended up screwing up stuff up. So I have to stop doing that, unfortunately. It was a really great idea because I think it would, you know, with traffic, traffic ends up being one of the biggest problems. But you go here, stop, then stop. And it's just, I mean, like even in real life, that's so freaking annoying how they like, do that and time the lights so you, everybody has to stop. I just, I hate that so much. And it seemed like a really great idea. I think it... <laughs> I still think it was a great idea, to be quite honest. But the game didn't like it, so I had to I had to do without it. All right, put some roads over here. Uh, just trying to set it up real quick so we can get our residential in. All right. So let's put some residential back here. I want to get it as far away from, uh, as far away from the industrial as possible, because all the pollution, and everything that will come from it. Um, commercial has pollution as well, noise pollution. I don't think air pollution. Uh, so we'll have some industrial in through here, then some commercial. I think this should go well, and they won't end up. When we build them to the sides, they won't be just little squares like this. We'll make them deeper so that the roads are longer. I think that really helps with, you know, traffic and everything. Now, we have to give them power, obviously. You can give them a coal power plant, which is 560 a week, which is quite expensive when compared to this being $80 a week. The only problem is it doesn't produce that much power, and we're going to end up with a ton of them, which is quite annoying. All right, so there's our wind power. Another thing that's annoying is these power lines. Uh, normally in the other games, like SimCity and I think even Cities XL, you put up a power line, and, but if somebody wants to put up a house or something and it's in the way, they just it just simply goes away, and they build over top of it. Not in this one. These literally have to be connected. It's very annoying. Uh, they will not just simply knock... I'm just going to make it crappy like this. And then when it starts filling in, knock it down. Why they why did they can't just build over top of this? I have no idea, but we have to we'll have to knock that down and crap. Alright, let's get over to water. Uh you can have a tower, stuff like that. I can't remember, I'll have to look more on that exactly because I haven't really used that in this game. What you do have is a pump station and also a drainage. It's very important because you'll see let me put this pump over here because I know it's going over here. And I'll show you. There it has access to water. Now let's put our drainage over here. 
Now, this doesn't show the current for this water. I'm not sure why. Maybe it's not moving. But you can see the current here. You'll see the current here. That's important when putting up the pump because you don't want to put your drainage over here when your sewer's coming out and then put your pump over here because you're going to pollute the water and then you're going to be ta taking dirty water. Obviously, you don't want to do that. So putting our pump here because that's as far as we can get it away from right now. Uh, so that we'll carry the dirty water out that way. All right, so we got to get uh, water to our citizens because we like them. <laughs> All right, so let's bring this out here. All right, that's connected to the sewer. Now let's bring this out here. And all we have to do now is get power over there. So we'll continue this on up here. There we go. Everything's got power. Uh, let's get the pipes going over to, to the people. We'll just bring them up the street. I think that's easiest. And connect them like this. Easy peasy. Now, as you can see, like, with the blue, uh, you can see, you don't have to keep connecting them. Uh, when every something turns in purple it'll expand and expand and expand like that uh without our help and we can finally knock some of these power lines down which don't look good all right so we need some commercial well let's do uh industrial first Got industrial right over here i probably don't want that much uh i do like that you can mess with how much tile you want to put in stuff like that Alright, so that's good for industrial right now. Let's do some commercial. We'll just fill it in. Don't need too much. Let's see. Put that right there on that side. Fill it on over here. We should do that uh, also with the uh, residential. Because we need... Uh, well, nobody's, we don't need that much, uh, residential, unfortunately, right now, but we will. I don't want to mess with that yet. I'm not sure how long that's going to go, so I won't mess with that just yet. All right, so the city's starting, at least. Not that well. We're losing 797. Jeez. I know one thing we can do, if we can go into the budget, is cut down on our water we're spending 600 and we have such a tiny city. You can bring this up. Uh, that we don't have a whole lot right now. It shows traffic, obviously. Your water. This is why I brought down the budget. Look, consumption and sewage, I think they are the same basically. 5,312 a week is what we're doing and we can pump 68,000. It's just, you know, a little overdone right now. Right, so we're actually doing, uh, it's almost like we need a lot more commercial. It's come, starting to come down, industrial, but we have plenty of room for industrial. I'm not sure why they're not just building. It would help, <laughs> help me if they would just freaking build. This is about as far as I'll go over here with the commercial, and bring industrial maybe over into here, uh, but not too much else. Uh, you don't want to. I don't want them too close because of the pollution. That should be. I was gonna say this probably shouldn't should actually be a small road. We'll make it. We'll keep it there. Make it that for right now. Get that out of there. Uh, let's finish this. That should be it for commercial for a little while at least. All right, we're in the, finally making money now. That's kind of nice. Uh, I'm not going to keep them. Actually, I, sh I should have just break some of these up so the zones are bigger, actually. I don't know if I can... Well, there would be a hole in the middle, but not too bad. Why don't we go for that? I 
feel like we've made them too small. Let me think about that for a second <laughs> before I just go tear stuff down. Now come back in with this residential. How much can we zone? Alright, that's not too bad. I don't know why so many people tore down over there. Now why is it we have a huge gap here, but we don't have that over here? It's odd. Strange. I don't quite get that. <laughs> All right. We can go back this way a little more. It's like that's a nice big zone. That's kind of like... You know what? We did four lane over there. I don't know why. I was just trying to keep it in the middle. I don't know why. Because we did that connect. That's why. And we're going to build over there with normal roads though. All right. So I'll continue that for now. Let's see, we've screwed up over here. Now we're going to have these big... Hmm. I don't know. Well, stuff's going to be screwed up and rebuilt anyway, so I'll, I'll, I don't like it, but I'll work with it for now. Although, like I say, I don't really like that. But for now, okay. Because this is just a new city. Things will be torn down. It's just how it works, you know? Alright, so we got tons of residential area ready for people to move in. Let's make sure they can get water. As they build out, uh, electric will follow. Good for us. See, now we got to build down the middle with the water. Oh, this, we got to build like the whole thing down the middle. That's all right. Just a little more pipe. All right, 404. That's not too bad. We don't, I don't see any real demand for anything. A little bit of residential, although we just made all this area for residential. Yeah, that's not like symmetrical at all. Not that it needs to be. Like I said, a lot of this will get torn down in the end. See, so it'll be kind of just blah like that for a little while but you know we got to get the money coming in we don't have money to do anything you know like a new power plant I'm sure we're getting close yes so it's in yellow that's six grand for the windmill that only lives with three grand here in a minute and uh, you can see like this place needs workers so more residents will come in and then our our power is going to be stretched Yeah, what what was that? Six. We're produce consuming six, producing seven. Not very good. But no real demand other than residential, and I don't know why. But they're not moving in at a very rapid pace. We speed this up a little bit. I don't like going all that fast. Or we can bring it in over seven hundred a week. That's nice. Get some things popping up. Need some needs. I can't. It's like we're kind of there, and then the electric is a problem now. All right. Let's put up a windmill. We're going to have tons of these things. It's, in my opinion, it's just ridiculous. I'll try and get every little inch I can over there. I don't know why it isn't shown that yet. Seven and seven, obviously it's not. Why is that blinking? I don't know. What have we done? Have we not connected it? Yes, we have. Why isn't it... Uh... Oh, why are we paused? Did I pause that? Shoot. Oh, little ha we're a little hammock because we got 340 people. So, taxes, loans, garbage, healthcare, education. Oh, yeah. I'm going to have fun with the services. 
elementary school medical clinic and landfill site. By the way, though, every time you get some like that, they give you some money, so that's nice. All right, let's get out of that. By the way, this is that. I don't know what. It's kind of like a Twitter, their version of Twitter in game. It's kind of annoying, to be quite honest. Let's see if we, if we take this out. They're still close enough, I do believe. Because they're like the whole power <laughs> supply for this area. But looks like that was all right. You still don't need anything. So we've got these huge blah areas. We could actually like put in a park or something, up, probably. A little road. I don't think we have anything for leisure just yet. We'll need some stuff, though. Move in people. We need... We need people. 971, that's actually pretty good. See what these people are saying. The mayor is doing a good job. Well, yeah, you know. Thanks to all these green energy, blah, blah, blah. We use that. I don't think the waterworks problems are current. I think that was earlier. Yeah. Everybody's got water that, that needs it. Yeah. That's all good. I think the pumps do a really, you can put a lot with those pumps, pulling a lot of water and the sewage as well. Man, it's just nothing is going on. It's like we're doing so well. <laughs> uh, we're going to need police, fire, education. The only thing is, you know, at 1100 bucks a week, it's not like we've got a whole lot of, a whole lot of money sitting around. Uh, usually I just wait for, for them to start complaining about something and I can go fix it. Up to 1100 that's pretty nice. What is that, commercial zone? Yeah. It says we do need a little industrial, but we've got industrial over here. I don't know why they're not building in it. Got that area here and here. I think industrial is just fine. Still doing good on power. Although that won't last very long. Never does. Uh, so what do you think first? Yeah, we don't have fire or police. I don't want to do healthcare just yet. Could do it. A school. Let's see. We don't want to put it in the commercial zone. If I put it here. Actually, right here. Oh, man. Would it would work so well. Because pretty much all the residential will be able to get to it. So we'll put it right there. Uh, it educates your citizens and stuff, so that is good. Also brings up property values, but I think also it helps uh, with your city, like, you know, making people smarter, uh, bring in better jobs, stuff like that. Although this is just an elementary school, you know. So we'll have to bring it up to, you know, put in some high schools, universities, stuff like that. All down the road. Hopefully far down the road. 60 out of 300 students. Not that great. We're just still doing good on money. Which is kind of surprising. Yeah, you got districts and all this stuff. But let's... Uh, garbage. So garbage, I'm kind of surprised, hasn't been a problem yet. Everybody's decent on that. People are decently happy. Uh, no problems with traffic. Noise pollution, see, uh, obviously industrial creates a lot. Commercial creates a little bit. Not a big problem. Education, health, yeah, we don't have any clinics, but that's all right. Wind, there's your pollution. See, commercial doesn't create any pollution, air pollution, but uh, this does. Or industrial, obviously. I don't know what that is. Outside connections, who cares? Leisure, ask yes, Jerome. You need to work. We're we're a small city. You don't need leisure. You got to build up. Don't need to be sitting around. Why, if we need residential, why don't people freaking move in? Makes no sense why the RDI says we need we need more residential stuff, but we've got plenty, plenty. I see no reason to 
do too much more. We could bring it out here this way. Actually, let's... I kind of want to go to the top. We've got more room to the bottom. But we've got this four lane to the top. Might as well make it useful. So we'll build up this way a little bit. Once we get closer, we can start following the coastline with our roads. We'll stop making just straight lines and stuff. But like I say, a lot of this is going to get torn down and redone as the game goes anyway. Do we need more res industrial? It is kind of being getting thinned out. Go this way with it. I don't want to go too far. Just do the fill one. There we go. This should be good over there. We've got tons of commercial available. There's people putting some more businesses. We could use it. Making 1400 which is good. I don't really see anything to do right now. Do we really want to go into a clinic? Like how much is that going to cost? Four hundred a week. That's a that's a nice chunk of money. That I, quite honestly, I don't know if we want to spend that right now. Let's see, this guy's got a problem with garbage, so garbage is probably going to become a problem here in a minute. All right, sweet. Where are the village? Seven hundred people. Districts, policies, and second loan, industry, industry specialization, new areas, fire, police, unique buildings, new policies for power and water, which we will probably need, firehouse and police. All right. Now, not too many people are complaining about garbage, so I don't want to do the landfill just yet. Not for just one one little person with his little trash problem. Figure it out yourself, buddy. Man, I'm kind of surprised. Like, it's never been this smooth. It's like, always got to build something. But right now, <laughs> well, I go out and make a video and it's like, nothing. We're pretty good. We're pretty chill. This has never been like this. All right, you got two people. Uh, now, oh, we got a fire. We need to put our go ahead and put a fire station in. Let's put up our fire department. We'll make sure everybody gets covered. Oh, we're gonna kind of build to the top, so just put them in right here. And let's watch them do work because they will respond. It's pretty sweet. You can actually watch them respond and everything. So here he comes. Responding. The Brook residence. It's sweet that that's like linked or hyperlinked or whatever so you can actually go to the house and stuff. I love that. There's another truck. Was oh, did that expand to that other house? No. That would be bad. Hopefully they save it. <laughs> Came running out with the dog. That's kind of funny. Oh, and then he just takes off like, your house is on fire, buddy. And you just took off on a motorcycle with your dog. <laughs> you put your dog on this motorcycle. So did it not totally burn down? Am I going to have to knock that out? Or are they going to do it themselves? Oh, they did it. No. All right, well, it says it's all right. So we don't have to knock it down. Oh, we've got electrical problems. This is the problem with this game, is the electric, these windmills just do not, do not make enough electricity. But I guess that's why they also make them like 80 bucks a week or whatever to maintain. Although, what do you have to do to a windmill, really, to maintain it? Set policies. One thing we are going to do with the policy, where is this wrong button? Is power usage. Let these people, my God. Hopefully that helps to cut down on their usage. So we're making 1,200. Trash is now becoming a bit of a problem. So let's go ahead and get them a landfill. I'm sure the people will be happy to live near a landfill, <laughs> wouldn't you? There we go. Put it right there. Out of the way so we don't have to look at it. 
it'll get going. It's got 15 trucks, only two in use now, and I'll get this and everything will go away. So now we're at 980 bucks. And down to 930. 887 though, and people are getting close to a thousand. That'll be nice. I think uh, the next one's at 1100, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, well, this is where you can buy those tiles, like I was talking about, to expand. Which population is 700. Yeah, the next one's 1100. We'll get a high school, which we don't need. We're, we're not anywhere close to needing a high school. 221 students, though, at our elementary school. That's nice. Let's see how people think about that. What? What? You're all on the red. You're not educated. I guess we need... Maybe you'll get better when we get, like, high schools. I guess an uh, elementary school education just isn't that great anymore. Down to 595 bucks. Yeah, geez. All right, so it's calling for more residential. So we're going to build it this way, but you know what? I think we'll leave that until the next episode, and we'll start building out uh, out more till we uh, get close to the water. Maybe we can make some nice places over there. I don't know. But uh, anyway, this is uh, City Skylines. I hope you all like it. I really, like I say, I, I love this game. I, I played the SimCity, what was it, SimCity 2000, I think was the first one, back in like the early to mid-90s. I remember playing that in school and stuff like that. I love this kind of game. Cities XL was fun, but a major disappointment. By the way, they like, apparently, I did not buy the second one, but they just put out a few weeks ago, like, Sim Cities XXL or something. And apparently, it's like the exact same game. I actually went out, uh, when I heard about it, I actually was like, damn, that's awesome. You know, they're going to put that out. I went on to Steam, and the reviews were terrible. I guess it's basically like they literally just put it as the same freaking game or something. It's ridiculous. Thank God for the reviewers on Steam so that he got sucked into that. But I, like I say, I love this kind of game. Hopefully you all will like it and want me to make some more videos and stuff. I just, I love this kind of game. Uh, 989. If I get to 1,000, I'll definitely quit. And we're not going to. I was going to just say, wait till we get 1,000. Come on, find more people. Five more people. There may not be room for five more people. We need tons more. All right, so we're at 1,000. So now we'll quit it. We need tons of residential. Like I said, we'll build over this way in the next episode. But I hope you all liked uh, this one. And, uh, well, we'll continue on the next episode. See you then.